Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have 10 knives that are on sale on Amazon right now. How do I know? Because I just checked. And one of the knives I'm getting ready to show you is literally like $10 and change. So buckle up, Buttercup. We're going to zip through these really fast. This is the Ramet Wild Species. Would you look at it? Just look at it and all of its wild speciesness. It has G10, it's relatively smooth. You do have a lanyard spot back here. It has a kind of a traditional old style pocket clip, but wait until you see this blade. It has thumb studs and it's a front flipper and it has a nice blue accent around the pivot. It is a fixed pivot. It does have ceramic ball bearings and check out this blade. Pow, right in the kisser. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, I told you we were gonna go quick. Look at this blade, looks so good. I love this style and look at there. 14C, 28 in, baby. Now the only thing, now see, I ran through these. That way I could give you a speed version of these blades. This thing, the action is exceptional. And I mean exceptional. Look how smooth. It is buttery smooth. It's like it's riding on air. It works so well. I would only have maybe one or two little nitpicks. One would be, and it's a nitpick, there is no pass through. However, it is easy. They did make enough room in here to get your finger in there to disengage it. And once you do, oh my goodness, it just drops shut so smooth. It is a very good knife. These are half off. You can reverse flick it. You can reverse, re <laughs> you can thumb flick it. See, I'll even get ahead of myself. These are normally 62 bucks. These are 50% off right now. This is $31 here. And I think that for 31 bucks, what you get, it is solid. It is centered. I have no other complaints. It is a great knife. $31 for the Remet Wild, Wild Species. Next up is the Monacala Liner Lock. Now, I know a lot of people got into the titanium version of this bad boy. You ready to see this blade? Oh, yeah, you see it. Look at that. Dual grind, hollow grind blade. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love a dual grind. And look at this. 14C, 28N, baby. There's three knives in the series of this bad boy. You get this version right here, which is kind of a, a honeycomb. It feels very good. It has a very nice texture to it. There's also a titanium and a carbon fiber version. This one right here is a liner lock. The, the titanium version is a frame lock. Now you can look, there's not, a, there's not any room for sharpening right here, but wait till you hear <laughs> this. This knife is uh, insanely priced. It has good action. It feels to me like it could, you, it could be cleaned out. Like I almost feel just a little bit of rough roughness on the inside of the pivot. Like I bet if you took it apart, it would feel even that much smoother. Not to say that it's not smooth, just I'm being very picky and I'm giving you all my thoughts as quickly as I can. Now it does have good action. You have you have a little bit of jimp jimps up here that are grabby. They work very well. I would like to see the titanium version of this. Now the ergonomics, the ergos work very well. Here's a look at your pocket clip. It's kind of a fancy, Mr. Fancy Pants pocket clip. You do have a couple mushrooms growing in the shade. It is not a reversible clip, but you do have a lanyard hole. Here's a look at your pass-through. You do have a little bit of room to get in there. I don't have any issues. It's not uncomfortable, but you do kind of have to commit your thumb to disengage it. But for the price, for what you get this thing, right now it's 20% off and this is $19. 19 bucks for the material and the fact that it's fit, it's finished, all of it is good. I'm not getting any wobble or blade play. Plus you get this dual grind, plus the 14C 28N. 19 doll hairs I think is a fantastic buy with this one. Now if you're wanting to go a little Mr. Fancy Pants, check this bad boy out. Oh yeah, look at that. Now that is a looker. It's the Trevisa Virgo 05. Shredded carbon fiber, a little bit of carbon, carbon fibre going on, titanium bolsters, and look at this. 110 layered Damascus. And if you look up here, you can maybe, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I did look under a microscope and there are a ton of layers going on. But besides the titanium bolster, you have ceramic bearings, you have a captive pivot. It weighs 4.7 ounces. It's 8.7 inches long. It has a 3.6 inch blade. And look at that blade. It is beat. A beautiful and the action. I'm gonna tell you, I've I've been playing with it <laughs> with the knife, and it is it is buttery, absolutely buttery smooth. And I was like, oh, this one's got a little bit of price tag to it. But then I started messing around with it, and I understand why. You have a little this area right here. This fuller is usable if you want to do a little bit of the slow roll. And I'm telling you, the ergos are so good. It has a contoured handle. And look at this. I don't think this is titanium. I believe that's going to be stainless steel. Here's a look at your non-reversible clip right here. Kind of an old-fashioned style clip, but you do have plenty of room to get it in and 
out of your pocket, which I appreciate. It depends on the mood and what I'm carrying for. The jipping is, it is, it looks good. It's more aesthetics. It's kind of slick. It doesn't really stop your finger for grip, but this area right here contours with the hand and gives it very nice ergo. See how my thumb just falls into place and man, oh man, I would not want to be on the other end of this if I was a bag of mulch. You know what I'm saying? This is a very, very pretty knife and you do have room for sharpening right there. These were normally 93 doll hairs and they've been marked down to, uh, they're 20% off. They've been marked down to 74 bucks. So I think that is really nice. And there are, I believe, three different configurations of the Virgo. And next up we have an El Chonkarino. Would you look at it? Just look at it. This is the Sativian ST154. This is the snake in the Zodiac series. And wait do you see this blade. Pow, right in the kisser. Oh yeah, it is a major Chonkarino. This is 14C 28 in blade steel, baby. And you know what? It, it is, uh, if you like a heavy or a heftier knife or a big handle, you don't want a skinny handle, you don't want no skinny handle, this one will fill your hand. It is, I mean, you, and you feel like you have a substantial knife in your hand when you're holding it. The ergos work very well. Here's a look at your pocket clip. David Chan is the designer, and this one also has some room sticking out so you can pull it out of your pocket. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, it does not have a reversible clip, so no lefty love, but it does have a lanyard hole. The, the pass-through works very well. I have no complaints about the pass-through. It's just like a typical Sativian. The, the action is so good. It's almost drop shutty, maybe just a little bit of help from gravity, and it comes shutting down. The blade geometry is fantastic on this knife. Look at this. Flat grind from the very top of the spine all the way down. It is nice and thin behind the edge. If you like a slicey knife that you that you could get a good grip on, this one is definitely going to be in your price range and in your size range. It's eight and a half inches long. It has a 3.6 inch cutting length. It weighs in at 6.3 ounces, but it has exceptional geometry, great ergos. I really like it. This is 20% off. These are marked down to 28 doll hairs right now. 28 bucks for this big old chunk with the 14C28 in. That is an excellent deal. I'm telling you what, this is the time to buy knives everywhere. Whatever kind of knives, it seems like they're all on sale right now. Check this one out. I have a 15% off discount code. Yeah, you heard me. It comes with a leather sheath. It, and it also, also, it's not a slip joint. Look at this. It has a titanium clip. This is a Remet. This is the Remet Urbane. If you want to go a little Mr. Fancy Pants, this is a Mr. Fancy Pants. It has all titanium structure. It has a hidden pivot, look at this. You can't see the pivot over here. You can't see it over here. To access the pivot, to take to take it apart, you take the scales off and then you can take it apart from the inside. Yeah, look at this. The blade is 122 layered Damascus. And ooh, would you look at that? A Little bit of K-tip going on right there. It's a multi-deployment knife and it is so buttery, buttery smooth. You have a rear flipper. It doesn't have any jimpy nut. Well, it has one jimp, Deek. one jimp, but it has a front flipper. The front flipper works very well. It comes flying around the front and you can also reverse flick it. I wouldn't use that. I can't use the hole with my thumb, but it is easy to do a slow roll and the ergos are pretty good. I would say my only complaint with the ergos is this point right here, depending on the size of your hand. When I hold it in the classic grip, classic position like this and dig it in my hand, eh, it's not the most comfortable thing right there. But if I just choke up just a little bit and hold it like this and that point is not in my palm, then I have no issues at all and it's very comfortable. This is a fancy looking knife. And here's a look at your thumb studs. Very nice thumb studs. They do the job well. The pass through, there's adequate, there's not a lot of pass through, but there's adequate room to get your thumb inside there and disengage it. And yes, this is a fancy look at knife. And one nitpick would be that it does not have the strongest D10 in the world. Um, that's, that's, you know, it's not a bad thing. You can see how well the action works. And a lot of times on front flippers, you don't get the strongest detent anyway. But besides the fact that it doesn't have the strongest detent, you can open this in so many different ways. I like this knife. Oh, and I don't even think I showed you. It has a hidden lanyard pin back here. I think I might have, but there's your lanyard pin right next to the Remet symbol. They, they didn't put a bunch of markings other than the beautiful markings on that blade. These are, I have a 15% off discount, discount to these. It takes off like 20 bucks. It makes this 114 and some change. 
Now, I get requests all the time for fixed blades. People are like, hey man, show us some fixed blades. Well, wait till you see this bad boy. <laughs> oh yeah. This is the BPS Knives Adventurer. It's a bushcraft knife and it is so sweet. This is a collab between BPS and DBK Knives. Wait till you see it. The classic, and I mean the classic. Check this out. Of course, it's a full tang and it's 1066 steel. And look at this walnut handle. It has, oh, yeah, by the way, it has a fire starter, and the fire starter does work very well. And it fits into this leather sheath. The leather sheath is nice, it's durable, it's the real deal. And I like this kind so it doesn't get stuck. It can move around on your waist or when you sit down, it doesn't kink up. It is a very sturdy, nice leather sheath. The back of the spine is nice and sharp for using the fire starter, the ferro rod. So it, it, I mean, this is the true classic style bushcraft knife. This is carbon steel. It's the tough stuff. You had, do have to take care of carbon steel, but it is hard. You can baton with this thing. You can do all of the bushcraft. And look at this. They even have a nice area up here for sharpening and just taking a quick look at the walnut. Would you look at it? Just look at it. And you can put a lanyard on this bad boy. And do, should I, do I even have to mention how good the ergos are? The ergos are fantastic on this bad boy. And if you didn't see my last video about Amazon knives, this is the, one of the little brothers. And this is also from BPS Knives. Check it out. This is also 1066 steel, high carbon steel. All you have to do when you get it wet or use a bunch of stuff on it, you can take care of it and keep it shiny or you can let it patina and it'll get that nice natural look like your grandpa's knife had. There you go. That is a nice set. This right now is on sale for 38 bucks and these are running under $30 hairs and you talk about, they are both razor and I mean razor. You can shave hair off your arms. They come so sharp right out of the box. They're a fantastic deal for what you get. Now look at, you know what? I, I'm going to throw this in here before before we get to the rest of the knives, I told you I'd be going quick. This is also on sale. It's the Through Knight Saber. If you're not familiar with the Saber, this is a fantastic EDC knife. Knife. <laughs> Light, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm getting excited. I got to calm down. People are like, dude, what's your problem? You have too much caffeine? No, when I get rolling, I get rolling. So this is the Sabre. It weighs around two ounces. It has a dual direction pocket clip. You know, I love flashlights just as much, not as much as I like knives. It's USB-C rechargeable. You take the battery out and you can charge that bad boy up or you can put AA batteries in it. This has a PMMA TIR optic lens, an aluminum body with very nice texture. This tail cap has a very nice spring to it. This has on low, it's 57 lumens. It has a max output when you hit it again of 659 lumens. It is extremely bright. It has a SST20 LED. It's a great flashlight. These are going for like $16 and change right now. These are fantastic and I'm glad that I was able to fit this in. Right now, everything is on sale and everyone's freaking out and I've been shopping like crazy on Amazon. So this is my chance to share some really cool stuff. Next up is another chonker from Sativian and the Zodiac series. Would you look at it? And it's all of its wickedness. This is actually called The Yak. <laughs> it's, I'm not kidding. Check it out. Yak. What movie is that from? Yak. Look at this. A spear point dagger look. And it has these thingies. What do you call those? It looks like it has a flipper tab on both ends, but it only has one. Check that out. Is that not wicked looking? This is DC 53 blade steel, baby. Would you look at it? And let's go up down. Oh, by the way, you can get this in the green and it also comes in, I believe the red or the black accents. There's a couple different options you can get this. This is another one that has the big hefty handle. So if you like the big handles, this is going to be for you. And yes, this would be great for opening up bags of mulch without a doubt. This is gonna be another one for all you knife nuts and all you knife collectors that's under $30. It has great action. Sativian does a really good job with their action. They do a good job with the grinds. This one has a nice grind on it. It feels very sharp, very, very sharp. And the blade is drop shutty. And check it out. The blade disappears inside the handle. So it has a very neat, a very clean look to it. You have a big old lanyard hole. Here is your pocket clip, kind of a standard pocket clip so you can easily get it out of your pocket. It is not a reversible clip, so there's no lefty love. And there's a little bit of texture vision for you on the G10. The G10 does have some light texture, kind of that, 
to it. I like it. It's pretty cool. And if you like a Chonkarino, this comes in at 5.8 ounces. So it is no joke. And I will have links, obviously, all these knives and the flashlight and everything else down in the description and in the comments, pinned comment section of this video. So you can go check out all the stuff if you want more information or more stats. And now another Mr. Fancy Pants. Check it out. This is the new Trevisa Austrinus. Would you look at it? It's very Austrinusly. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the ebony wood handle and it has some very good texture to it. It feels very nice, very, very nice. And it also has some texture up here on the bolster, which looks very cool. This is 67 layer Damascus. And if you look right here, you can see the core to the Damascus and wait until you see this blade. By the way, it's perfectly centered and there is one thumb stud. You can switch it to e either side. That way it keeps it in the nice minimalist fashion. And look at this blade. Oh, right in the kisser. Oh, yeah. You can see that core. Now, that is very cool. This reminds me a couple of my chef's knives. I do like the looks of this thing. It has ceramic bearings, and you know, Trevisa always makes very sharp and very, very pointy. Look at that. That is a splinter getter. If you want a fancy package opener or just a fancy pocket knife to carry, this one is very comfortable. It has great ergonomics. It's easy to disengage. Look at this. The way that the, the lock is sticking up like that, it's very, very easy to grab a hold of. And oh man, it's, it's gentlemanly and kind of wicked looking at the same time. Comes with this little uh, leather, uh, what do you call that? A little leather lanyard. You can leave that on or take it off if you want. A little bit of accent back here, giving it a nice, oh, so shiny look. I do think this is a very cool gentleman's or gent ladies knife. It does not have a pocket clip, so this would be a very nice pocket dropper or one that you could put in a slip. These are normally 80 bucks, and right now they are also 20% off. These are running 64 doll hairs. We only have two left, and I think all of these are great deals, but the I think the best deal, if you're gonna get someone a knife as a gift or for you for a banger, just wait, it's coming up. Now, if you like heavy duty knives, this and all you Ethan Grove fans, this is an EF69 Desert. Look at the blade on this sucker. Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh, yeah. Dual grind. Back here, you could do some heavy duty. <laughs> I was going to say log splitting. That's what came to mind because it is a hefty, hefty, big chunk of D2 blade steel. This is old school. I believe this might be one of their older models. They sent this to me a month or so ago, and I'm just now getting to it. This is a tip down. So there's a lot of tip down fans. I hear from all the time. They're like, why can't I get a clip that's tipped down anymore? I'm like, well, you can either spend a lot of money on a certain brand to get that certain logo, or uh, here's an option for you. The Look at this. It is very smooth. It's drop shutty. The ergos are very good. You can't go wrong because you don't have a pocket clip down here grabbing a hold or poking, poking into your hand. And here's the back spacer. A little bit of ribbed for your pleasure. Has a nice little blue accent right here. These, you won't believe it, <laughs> for this big chonker, this is 20% off and that takes these down to $20 here. So the pass through is good. The action is good. It has a nice big pointy blade. You could use this for all your different cuts, utility cuts, and it has really good ergos. So if you want you a new or an old Ethan Grow, this is the EF69 Desert and they are running $20 hairs. Now, last but certainly not least is a brand I've never heard of before, but I have I have heard from a couple of people that said that they're really good for what for what you spend and for the money. This is the Duratech. It's a budget knife, the Duratech crossbar lock. Now look at this. Check out the G10. The G10 is actually very, very good. The texture, there we go. There you go, little fella. The, the black wave pattern is very nice. And this is a crossbar lock and it has thumb studs. Check it out. Pow, right in the kisser. Now look at this. I think this is a great beginner's knife and a fantastic gift knife. These are running $10 and change because these are 30% off right now. The action, I can't complain. The action works fantastic on it. You know, I uh, on the live stream, a couple of people were making comments and, and I was like, you know what? I've never heard of it. But the action works very well. This is an easy in and out of the pocket. 
The pocket clip is a deep carry pocket clip. It is does have a couple mushrooms growing in the shade. It is not a reversible clip. You do have a lanyard hole. The blade is centered on it. And I mean, really, for 10 doll hairs. Now, the blade steel on this is 8CR13 MOV blade steel. And this is the one of the blade steels that I recommend if you're newer into knives or if you've been around knives forever. This is a great steel to learn how to sharpen and learn how to keep sharp. And this one did come with a very nice edge on it. Uh, very impressive, very impressive indeed. So this is the Duratec. I don't even know that it has a name, but I do know that for 10 bucks, this is one of those ones you can get your mailman, your uncle, your aunt, heck who, anybody. If you wanna get him a knife and not break the bank, the Ergos are very good on it. This pocket clip does kind of set a little high. I can feel the pocket clip, it's not hateful. It falls just in the right place for me, so I can't complain about that. The jimping is actually very good. It has some good aggression to it almost towards over aggressive, but it I can't complain about that either. And then you're not gonna have a sharpening choil on a $10 knife. These are, well, like I said, they're 30% off. They're normally like 15 bucks, but I think this is a fantastic knife. I think it is a great find and shout out to Mr. Vincent. He is a channel member. He's a bees blader. Thank you very much for sending this and bringing these to my attention. I think this is a great knife and I am glad you recommended it and wanted me to check it out. I think it's a good one, De definitely for the price. Now the fit, I could feel a little bit back and forth and up and down, but for the price, I can't even give it a critique. So there are 10 knives plus an honorable mention from the one that was in the last Amazon video and a very nice everyday carry flashlight. Tell me what you think about them. Do you have any favorites? Are you gonna get any as a gift? Are you gonna gift yourself some? Treat yourself. So tell me what you think about them. Make a comment and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button that helps support the channel more than you know. Now go watch this video. You're really gonna enjoy that. And until I see you again in the lives or the chats or the hive stream every Friday night, remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.